Hello everyone, my name is William Yu and I'm an R Design Engineer at MiniCircuits. Today I'm here to talk about the capabilities of our LTCC high rejection, low pass and high pass filters. Behind me here are three LTCC low pass and three LTCC high pass filters mounted on their respective evaluation boards and all hooked together through our MiniCircuits RC-2SP6T-26 switch box. The first filter I want to showcase is our LFCG 1575 Plus. This is a more traditional LTCC filter with wraparound terminals. You can see a clear solder fillet around the RF pads where the device is soldered onto the PCB. On the screen here, we are showing roughly 50 dB of rejection, which is solid overall performance. In comparison to the LFCG 1575 Plus, I have the LFHK 1575 Plus, a member of our high rejection family of filters. As you can see, the rejection reaches much deeper, down to 80 plus dB of rejection. In order to achieve these levels of rejection, the LFHK 1575 Plus is designed with coaxial-like RF pads. These RF pads are completely surrounded by ground and require a matching land pad. Additionally, a strip line PCB design is required for this device to reach its fullest potential. Mechanically speaking, our LTCC high rejection filters are not compatible with coplanar waveguide or microstrip traces. These top level RF traces uh, will cause the ground and RF pad to short on these high rejection filters. Electrically speaking, top layer RF traces uh, will radiate power, especially at higher frequencies, and cause coupling between the input and output of a device. And while this coupling is very weak, it will limit the peak rejections you'll see in a given system. For high rejection applications, we recommend that you use strip line traces, uh, where those traces are embedded in substrate and well isolated. The third low pass filter I have is the LFHKI 1575 Plus. This model is the same as the previous LFHK 1575 Plus high rejection filter, but mounted on an interposer board designed to be compatible with coplanar waveguide and microstrip lines. As you can see here, the ground around the RF pads on the LFHKI version are open towards the edge of the device and will not short when mounted on top level traces. As mentioned before, the performance of the LFHKI version is limited compared to its LFHK counterpart. Here we can see much lower rejection peaks than the base LFHK version. However, rejections are still higher than our more traditional LFCG 1575+. The LFHKI series exists for our customers that cannot accommodate the LFHK layout requirements, but are still interested in rejection performance that are greater than our traditional filters. Onto the high pass filters, we have the exact same story. First up is our HFCG 2000 Plus, showcasing our performance with a more traditional wraparound terminal design. Following that is the equivalent HFHK, showing deep rejections up to 80 dB. And finally, the HFHKI equivalent adds layout compatibility while still providing deep rejections up to 70 dB. This concludes the showcase of the LTCC high rejection filters here at Mini Circuits. Thank you everyone for watching and please make sure you're following us on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest Mini Circuits content.